first met Kerry Mulligan um, at a cast and crew dinner for Never Let Me for Never Let Me Go just before we started shooting. And um, we, there was a point in the dinner where we were all going around the circle of the dinner table and asking each other what our favourite films were. And we were all being very pretentious and kind of naming our favourite Michael Haneke movie or um, you know insert our house filmmaker here kind of thing. And uh, I could see Kerry on the other side of the table getting very nervous, very fidgety, very red. Um, and uh, coming closer to her, and it was her turn, and um, she couldn't control it, these words tumbled out of her, she said, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, <laughs> and, um, and I, I fell in love with her, um, um, I, it was just this uncontrolled moment of, of honesty that, um, that, that she couldn't hold in, and uh, I think uh, that's one of the many things about her that makes her so compelling to watch, is that she can't help but, but show what she's feeling, and um, it's a very beautiful quality. Um, when I can only talk personally, when you're when you're acting with Carrie, um, it's as if she's um, she's allowing you, uh, uh, she, she, she's inviting you into her soul, and she's allowing you to kind of rummage around in there. Um, and it's a real privilege. There's no acting required. She makes the scene a complete reality. She's very hard on herself. She's constantly striving for a, a deeper understanding of the scene. Basically, she cares deeply. Um, she carried a copy of Never Let Me Go, the novel, um, all day, every day, while filming. One of the reasons I find her so compelling is that is, is, is because she's uh, she's full of opposites. She um, she's vulnerable, and yet she's so powerful. She's she's earnest, and yet she's irreverent. She's ludicrously beautiful, of course, and and yet she's lacking in vanity enough to rock a, a mullet with pride. Um, she possesses all the extremes of being human. She expresses them with bravery, love, and generosity. But, but the most defining feature of her is that she's impossible to define. You, you, I've, I've been trying to analyze why I find her so compelling and I just tie myself in knots because, um, because it's unquantifiable um, and she's a, she's a true hypnotist. Um, so I'm, I'm just incredibly privileged to honor her, her, her generous and open-hearted contribution to this art form. 